Hi, this is Deb Sokovic with Dual Dot Media. Today I'm going to show you how to create a movie poster in Photoshop. Here's our finished product, and I took a simple beach blanket bingo um, format as opposed to just something more difficult. So let's just go ahead and start from scratch. And you can see I used something really colorful. Now I prepared these files so um, we weren't in the process of taking all the different entities I used. But we're going to start with a red background because that's pretty much the color pick I pulled from the main colors. And the main picture was, it was a photography shot that I used a filter on and I I used a comic book filter because I thought that that was, you know, more the, the vein that we were going for in this. It's important to note that when you're doing something for your customer or your client, that you have to kind of get in their head and decide where they're going with it. Now in Photoshop, I'm using CS4 and I have my Photoshop set to their, so when you pull new windows in or new photos in, it puts everything on the same palette. But for this, we're going to move everything off so you can see how I arrange everything on the main photo. So first I'm going to take the cars and move it in. And as I'm using my pieces, I'm closing them. One thing you have to be aware of when you're doing print work is who's printing this for you? Are you taking it to a, a print house? Is there a bleed? How big is the bleed? Do you need to leave room for it? My piece, my finished piece is 27 by 40. If you were using an eighth inch bleed all the way around, you would add a total quarter inch to the piece. As you can see, I'm moving my layers so the main picture is on the very top. Photoshop has a little quirk to it to where it has the has a new sizer in it. And you can see that in the middle of my my piece right there. Okay, so we're still lining things up. Now I'm dragging with my arrow, but you can always use the your keyboard and use the arrows. And everybody basically designs differently. If you're a beginner, it's always good to practice to find out the best technique for you. I've been using Photoshop for a very long time, so I'm comfortable with my you know, by just dragging and dropping. Now normally I always name and organize my layers. As a designer I think that's really important and a good habit to get into. For the sake of time I'm not doing that on this one. But if for any reason you have to hand your artwork off to another party or a printer, it's always good to do that. Next, we're going to uh, name it, give it a title. So because it's a 50 style, I'm going to use a font called Cocktail Shaker. There's lots of free fonts out there. Um, resources, myfonts.com is a great place, even though they have paid fonts. You can also get free fonts. 
I love typography.com is a great resource on the web. And of course, Smashing Magazine always has great articles on typography and fonts. Now we're going to take we're going to take this font and we're going to use the path tool for Photoshop and just bend it. Some people still like to use the pen tool and use type on a path. But this is really quick and easy. Okay, that's basically it. Now, if you're going to send this off to a printer uh, and you were going to do it in Photoshop, always flatten or rasterize your fonts or you have to give the fonts to the printer as well because printers notoriously do not have your fonts. That's it for now.